got out of fourth hour and we were going down the hall and then a bunch of teachers started yelling at us and telling us to go back in our classrooms. And at first we thought that it was just like a senior prank or something and they didn't want us to be out while it was happening. But um, then we were told that we were gonna go into lockdown and that it wasn't a drill. And um, then of course we like all got on our phones and started texting each other. So um, a bunch of rumors started going around. At first I started thinking about all the other school shootings that happened in the country. So that got me scared because it's become such a common thing now. Um, but when the rumors started going around, I, I didn't feel as nervous because I knew that the police were gonna come and that those people would be arrested. Just really um, the amount of resources that uh, were put uh, to try to resolve the situation here is um, kind of overwhelming. Uh, and I do appreciate that. And like I said, I appreciate the people that I spoke to that work here at Huron that were giving me as much information as they could. Um, and uh, I, from my perspective, it was handled probably as well as it could have been. I mean, she texted me from school and said what was going on. I asked her if she was safe. She said yes. So I waited a little bit knowing I wasn't going to be able to get near the school. But then when she said the lockdown was stopped, I got in the car and came and got her. <laughs> and it's crazy. There's helicopters and cops and guns and it's crazy. I knew she was safe when I, when I got the text. That was my first question, obviously. Um, and it looks like they had it pretty well under control with the police presence around here, which is, which is good.